So back in November of last year, VMware had actually announced that VMware Workstation and Fusion is going to be free for home users, and this is referring to the Pro version. Now, it seems that a lot of you have been struggling, as I had released a video earlier this year on how to download this software and navigate through their confusing site. But it seems as of a couple of months after I published that video, they decided to make some changes and again, move it around on where you can get it on their site. So I thought, well, I need to make an updated video on this so you guys can see where to go. So that is exactly what we're gonna be doing today. So before we do go ahead, my name's Matthew from Matthew's Tech Hub. Welcome back to another video, everyone. Hope you're doing well. So without further ado, let's roll that intro and jump straight into the video. Okay, so as you can see, we're now back on our Windows 11 desktop. Now, the first thing is you're going to check the description box down below in this video. I've put a link in there, which will take you straight to the site, which I'm about to bring up right now. So if you just go ahead and check that and then click on the link, and it will take you straight to this page here, which is titled VMware Fusion and Workstation Going Free, Customer Feedback and New Resources. And it's written by Oliver Romero, and it was updated on March 10th, 2025. Now, this is the same link as to what was in my previous video, but it just appears that they've decided to give it a bit of a refresh and completely change the way that you can now acquire this software. So I'm going to run through how you do that right now. Now, if we scroll down, you'll see right here, there was a section titled Updated Guidance on Support Inquiries. Now, what you're going to do is click on this uh, hyperlink right here where it says Download Hypervisor Products. So click on this. And it will then take you straight to their forum, which is uh, showing an article on the, along with screenshots on how to download the software through their ever confusing portal. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to click on right here where it says, number one, go to support.broadcom.com. So you're going to click on this, and this will then take you straight to their site here. Now, what you'll need to do is you will officially need a Broadcom account to get this software. So you can click on register in the top right hand corner if you haven't got an account and you can then just begin running through uh, getting this set up. Now, I have had some users say that you can't use a personal Gmail address. Um, so if you have got a domain, it might be worth using a domain, but I haven't personally tested this. However, I actually use an Outlook account, um, so just a personal Outlook account and it has worked fine for me without issues. Now, so what you need to do is you need to register on there and also you need to put in all your information like your home address etc because I believe they do also require that information before you can uh, see the software in their portal and then once you've registered and activated your account you can then just follow the steps again and then click on login up here now this will then take you straight through to their login page which will load up in just a second and it's going to ask you for your username which is usually just your email address and then it will ask for your password so I'm just going to go ahead now and quickly input this and I'll be back with you guys in just a moment so once you're logged into your account you will then be brought to this page here which is the very confusing site of uh, of the famous company Broadcom. Now, what you are going to do is you're simply going to click on this little button up here, which has some clouds in it. Click on this, and you're then going to click on where it says VMware Cloud Foundation, and it will then take you to another page. Now, once you're on here, you're going to simply click on My Downloads in the top left-hand corner. Give that a second to load. And then once that's loaded, you'll then see this option here that says free software downloads available here. And you're going to click on right where it says here. So click on this. And then once that's loaded, you'll then see a list of all the software that you can download for free. And you'll see straight away that the two important ones are right here. So it says VMware Fusion and VMware Workstation Pro. So for example, I'm going to download Workstation Pro because that's for Windows and then VMware Fusion is actually for Mac. So if I want to download it for Windows because I'm on a Windows PC, I'll just click on VMware Workstation Pro just right here. And this will then take you through to the normal page, which was outlined in my previous videos. Now I'm going to click on for Windows right at the top up here and it will then show you all of the versions that are currently available to download. So you might want to just go ahead and download the latest version at the time of this recording, which is 17.6.4. Click on this right here. So once you've been brought to the next page here, you can then see that this is the file that we're going to download, and also you've got the download button on the right-hand corner. However, you won't be able to click on it straight away because unfortunately you've got to agree to their terms and conditions. Now, it won't let you just check, on, check mark this. You need to click on their terms and conditions just right here, which will then just open up the page. You can also have a read, which you know, it's up to you if you want to read them or not. You can then close that, click on the check marks box like so, and then you then should have that option there to download it. So click on that button and it will say prior to download this file, additional verification is required. You're going to click on yes. And this is now where it's going to take you straight through to their compliance portal. Now, this is to actually double check just to make sure that you are a legit user and just you've got to enter some information like your home address and your postcode. Once you've entered this, Broadcom will then just check on that information. So I'm going to quickly fill in this information now, and I'm going to click on Submit in the bottom right corner. So I'll be back with you guys in just a moment. 
Okay, so once you've filled in that information and you then click on submit, it will then take you back to the same page again, just minus without the uh, terms and conditions agreement because you have to agree to those before you can proceed to the screening page. Now, once you're back on this page, you can then click on this cloud icon in the right corner. Uh, you notice if you hover over it now, it will also say HTTPS download instead of screening required. So if you click on that, as you can see now, it has now downloaded the installer straight into my browser. So you're going to let that download. And then once that's downloaded, um, you can then simply just run the installer. Now, as you can see, it has now brought up the installation wizard. So if we now just click on next right here, again, agree to the terms and conditions. And again, it's going to ask you where you want to install it. So I'll install it to the default path. Click on next. And again, you can also check for product updates on the uh, startup. And you can also join the VMware customer improvement program if you wish. I don't want to join that. I'm just going to leave it so it has updates uh, ongoing. And again, you can also uh, put an icon on your desktop and also on the start menu. So I'm going to leave those ticked there as well. Click on next. And again, it's going to ask you about 3D acceleration will be disabled. And this is because I am actually running this in a virtual machine. You may get this message, you may not. I'm only getting this as I said because I'm in a VM already. Click on upgrade. And again, that's now going to start installing VMware Workstation Pro. And that's it. And again, the same process is exactly the same for Mac OS as well. So Hope that's helped you guys out there. If it has, please hit that like button to get this video into the YouTube algorithm. Please also leave your comments down in the comment section down below. And also, please don't forget to hit that big subscribe button to continue supporting the channel. But as always, guys, thanks for watching. Until next time, I'll catch you later. Bye for now.